day viewers welcome to various catering channel remember in my last video i showed you how to make a beautiful hand fan that the bride can use and ladies can use today i'm going to be showing you how to make a beautiful fascinator that you can actually use whenever you want to hold such a hand fan sit back there and watch and please if you have not subscribed to my channel please try and subscribe and give me a thumb up and also ask me any question at all based on anything any confusion or something you don't understand i will always be willing to answer you so let's get started now the first thing we are going to be doing is to show you the materials we will be needing for this fascinator as usual i have my sequence remember this is the sequence i remain from the hand farm i have my bling a smaller part of type of bling bling. I bought this from the tailor shop. I have the normal nets. Normal nets we use for our dresses. That is to add to clothes. You can still use it for your fascinator. Now I have the hat iron. That is the wire, hat wire, that we're also going to be using today. Now, normally some of us when we are making fascinators it actually came with this mold that is you use this mold and mold your cinnamon then after the thing is completely dried you can now use it for your fascinator but today i'm going to be using this breast pad actually the breast pad came this way and i trimmed it into this way which i'm going to show you how i'm able to get it this round i'm also going to show you these are the wires, the ones I have prepared already. I'm also going to show you how I prepared this. You can see them, I prepared two of it because I know I will be needing the two. Then I have the beads, the, all these are beads that the tellers are always using. I only have my bling, the bigger bling bling, the one I use for my uh, hand fan. I'm also going to be using it here. And then I have, I have here feathers too that I'm going to be using. Also, there's a feather that I've already prepared here. I'm also going to show you how I prepared this. Sit there and watch me display that. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is how I'm able to get this. There is this round thing I have here. I got it from my cake separator. So I'm going to be using it to place it inside here. And then... And then I'll be using my pencil on my biro to mark it so that I'll be able to get the round shape that I will later cut out. So after ruling it, just roll it round so that you'll be able to mark out the circle. That is to make the whole thing look uh, become round. Just take your biro and do this or your pencil. Because I don't mind the biro because I know everything is going to be tucked in. That is... I'm going to cover it up. So after this, you have this, and then you begin to cut out the lines. So you don't need to have a separator to do this. All you need to do is just get yourself a round circle, something that is very circled. Place it there, and then use it. So after using it, you just cut. Cut to get the shape. You know, what I'm using here is breast pad, the bigger one. So you cut to get the shape. And then after that, you will now use your iron. You measure your iron. Now, you see, that's the wire I'm talking about. You now... You measure exactly, let it be exactly the, the round of, let it be as round, of, that, let it not be bigger than what you have. Let it be exactly the shape of the mouth of your pad you are using. And then you add a little on top, you add a little on top, and then you cut. Four cuts. with your plier and then after that you go again 
we measure this time around for the final one before you solo tape it okay then you solo tape you just go ahead and solo tape it together you can use the smaller size of the solo tape Now, tighten this side first before you go over to the other side of it. Now you go over to the other side and do the same thing. This one is actually the big solo tape, which is this one. I only I lose it and then I divided it into two. So. it again and you continue with your okay so and then it's one that side that same side then at the end of the day you have this just adjust it if it is not uh, round enough because all you want is for it to be round you can see I've gotten the two I have my pad round one now and I have the wire so the next thing is to position it on top of the wire and then you stitch it with either your fishing line with a needle or a thread like this with a needle what do I mean by fishing line? this is fishing line you put it in a a sewing thread fishing like this is size uh, 0 0.25 put it in a sewing thread and go around just the way i did it here until you were able to go around it and then we'll start i'm not going to do the same thing that i've done here because of our time so now this is the next one i have prepared and i'm going to show you how i prepared this so you can see with this bling bling what I did was to count one two and then I'll cut it out that is something like this so the same thing I did showing you how I got this wire is the same thing is the same way I measured this this is supposed to be about one and a, a half yard which is about 40 I think 46 inches not really up to one and a half but it's either 46 or 48 inches just all you need to do if you want to get this round you can use a brim a hat brim any of any hat brim of your choice and then position this on top what i mean assuming this is to be your hat brim you position your wire and get exactly the round shape of the hat brim before you now seal your wire that is actually how i got this so now I'm going to show you how to work on this. So using this gum now, you apply a little of the gum and then you use the bling, go, hold it firm there and then you start going. This is exactly what I did. When I move a little bit, I will apply another gum gradually gradually until I'm able to go around that is exactly how I got this when I move a little I put gum I'll add my gum and then I go again you know until you are able to achieve what I have here so now let's start making the fascinator. So the next thing you get the sequence, this the sequence, this is the back of the sequence. You position here and then you use your gum, you go around with your gum.
And then remember the gum dries out faster. By the time you start, make sure you're adding your sequence as you're going around. So that at least you will be sure that the gum won't dry completely by the time you want to do that. Fold it in. So the next thing now I'm going to do is to cut. So as soon as I hold one part of it, I will now turn it and then follow the measurement and cut off what then I cut off what I need. Something I know I can use to cover the the small cap. So you have cut it out and then you start again with your gum. Then you begin to close it up. And then you're good to go. Pull them very well. So everything will lap very well. You can still use Uhu gum to do this. Or any of the gums that doesn't stain much can also be used to do this. And see how I am pulling it to make sure the whole thing completely lapped on the body of the cap. So this is what I've got. The next thing is to cut it off, trim off the excess. And now this is ready. You set it aside. So now, you get your net and you position your wire on top and then you begin to gather the net, the yellow net. Until you are able to go around, if, it is not, if one side is not reaching, just shift it. A bit in to get make sure all the net is gotten hmm? all the parts of the net uh, iron is well folded so you see what I mean and then the next thing you're going to do now is to use your is to use your fishing line and then go around and tie it. You now take your fishing line and then you start with the fishing line you start going around now you continue tying now one thing about fascinator is most of those wires you see curving is actually because of the way you tie them. If you are trying to tighten them the more, you notice that it will be curving the more. So tightening it, it will be curving. But in this case, this is the base. I don't want it to, to curve too much. So I'm going to stop at this point and then I will now tie to knot it completely. So you see the way it is now. So I'll stop at it. If I continue pulling, the curve will continue forming. So, but I don't want it to be that way. I simply just want it to be a little bit curvy and then I will knot it. You now cut off the excess completely. And then 
you have this now. Now the next thing is how do we attach it to the smaller cap? Now this is the smaller cap. You just bring it and check it out. Even like this, now your fascinator is it seems to be ready, isn't it? So now, how do we attach it is the next knowledge. You now apply your gum. You now apply your gum. At the tip of the cap. Collect this one and position it here. Try as much as possible to make sure that the whole thing is holding the net down. Any side that didn't hold you, apply the gum again. Because remember, the, the gum dries out very fast. Go again and do the same thing until the net is completely hold down. Now, if you check very well, this side is not completely down. One side is down, but the second one isn't. So I'm still going to apply again to make sure I bring it down. So, you see now, completely down. So you see that the next thing we are going to do now is to cut off the excess. I'm going to be using my razor. I'm not cutting exactly at the tip. Don't forget. And I've got this. And I've got this. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to do now is I start with my designs using this to work. So I apply some gum as usual. Actually, the best gum to use for this is uh, Uhu gum. But unfortunately, I can't lay my hands on them, on it now. So I had to manage what I have, just for the idea. You now begin. Just go around. This is what I use for the hand fan. Remember, we're trying to do something that will match the hand fan. Now, whatever dent that you think might have caused the cost of the gummy you are using, 
by the time you position this, all the dents will disappear. And I'll cut off the excess. Cut off the excess here. And then just put, adjust it and everything will enter. If it is not there, what do you do? You apply another gum. Now we have this. Now the next thing we are going to do is to attach the second. Please click on the second part so that we can continue. 